Good morning and welcome to our next adventure. Um, we left last night about five o'clock from the Blue Mountains, made it out to a town called Guri, which is just a little bit in between Wellington and um, Dubbo. I'm staying at the Guri showgrounds. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. Today we're heading up to Kilauea, Kilkawera. I can't think what it's called, stations on the Dowling track. Um, purpose of this trip is we're heading out to Popple Corner in um, the Simpson Desert. So yeah, up through into Queensland today along the Dowling track. Um, and then yeah, should be in Birdsville the next couple of days to head out to the corner. Enjoy. Here we go kids. And in Dowling track, so the Dowling track runs from Burke up to Thargaminda and then well, up through Hungerford on the border and then up into Thargaminda and then on past Thargaminda to another town that I cannot remember the name of. Um, it was built 18th century, 19th century um, by James Dowling, um, thus called the Dowling track. But yeah, it's supposed to be a really good couple hundred k's up into Queensland, a different route that we haven't done before. So just drop the tyres, we tend to run 25 PSI in the front, 30 in the back, and then 45 in the caravan seems to do us well for these roads. So hopefully this is enough for this one. So we've just started the Dowling track, um, let the tyres down and head along. Um, and I think we've got about a distance to go today. 280 k's to go to Kilkara station. And I think it's only 120 k's to Thargaminda tomorrow morning to get off the Dowling track. But it's fairly bumpy, but it doesn't seem too bad. But as we're in the middle of nowhere, we always try and go through how to use the Emu's family. Oh, I don't think I got them. <laughs> Sorry, there's like five babies in the mum. The babies were like, I don't know, two foot tall. I think there's only about 8 to 10 k's to do it to start with and it's 30 k's out of work and we're back on the tarmac so I don't think this goes for very long but we'll find out. It was definitely worth dropping the tyres just take it slow on the tarmac until it goes away again. Back on dirt, only 5 k's later so 35 k's out of work, it's back into dirt again so that it looked like it was a bit of a floodway so probably why it was all tarmac looks like it's had lots of water over it.
is Hungerford, the hinterland well, to stop like dingoes and stuff coming into the New South Wales. Like at least it's a while. Look at this. We're gonna go out and open the gate. You're gonna get a quick a picture. Yeah. So so Isn't that pretty cool, eh? So we made it to Queensland. This is get another part of the dog fence that runs all the way from pretty much the coast all the way into South Australia. Um, interestingly, this fence stops bees. I'm not entirely sure how that works. But uh, yes, if you're a bee, you're not allowed to go past this fence. Looks like some pretty bad weather over there, but luckily it's south of the border and away from where we're going because if it rains out here, we're getting stuck. But it looks like it's down over towards Broken Hill where we're not going to be for a week, so it should be alright. And I think we've only got about 100 k's to go until we get to the place we're staying, Kilkawera. Chop chop. So we've made it to the turn off for Kilkawera, but there's a wind blowing towards me. Kilkawera is behind me, and then the massive rain cloud almost we've sort of threaded the needle between two of them um, coming up, and we're a bit hesitant to go. We've decided we're not going to go to Kilkawera because the wind looks like it's blowing it straight onto it, and if it rains here, we can get stuck out here for a few days. So we're going to bin, unfortunately, going there and keep heading into Thargaminda because the last thing we want to do is get stuck here for a few days. It was a lovely rainbow that seems to have been engulfed by the rain cloud as well. And yeah, so if the wind was blowing basically the other way and blowing it away, I reckon we'd be sweet, but it's a bit of a sketch. Unfortunately, but a lovely road, nice place to stop. is out of Fargavinda and it looks like we're heading into another vicious and violent storm so hopefully we're not and hopefully that's not going to close the roads in that direction at all but hopefully who knows <laughs> it's been hard to pick where the storms actually are today well, this light bright little blue spot is where Fargavinda is I think but who knows if it's just been lashed with rain or rains not actually raining
That was the end of the Dowling Track for us. So this is coming into Thargaminda. This has been underwater, I think, for the last few weeks. Um, and they run a flood truck here, so they can put you on the back of a truck that's a big eight wheeler or something, and they drive you through that little bit of water, that river there, to keep this road open if it's not too high. So we made it here to Thargaminda, um, pulled up at the campsite just before, well, just, just after five. Really super empty, there's probably like six other people here, but oh, can I even fit it on screen? There's a full double rainbow. Rain seems to just be skirting past. That might get us, but it's we've just had a few spits since we've been here. So not too bad. So the dogs are happy to be out of the car. Yes? Hey Cinder. Hey. No, nope, you wrapped her under the pole probably. Snowy. Hi Snowy. You're definitely happy to be out of the car. Hey! Well, all set up in Thargaminda Caravan Park. Uh, when we got here, Mel called reception and she, the woman said, I'm looking after it for my sister. I don't want to come back tonight, but you can set up. But I'll be here at 8 o'clock in the morning so you can pay. And we won't be here at 8 in the morning, so we'll give her a call tomorrow to pay. But it's a nice little site. Got a lovely um, sunrise, sunset rather, over off in the distance. And then this is our site, we just pick wherever we want. It's not bad. But all the way around, they've got these awesome little fire pits. So it's a, um, a one of those things on one of those things. A washing, washing machine things. drum on a wheelbarrow. Set up for a fire pit, which is cool. Grandma's set up in the tent behind us. A bit rocky, puppies are a bit tired, but we've got a full crew on this holiday. We've got Bubble running towards us, aka Levi, we've got Archer, we've got Mum Melissa, we've got me Damien, we've got Snowy, and Cinder's under there somewhere, and Grandma's come along for the ride as well, and she's hiding in the tent I think, but full contingent for this one, so it's a bit tight in the car, but we're going alright trip today was really good coming up the Dowling track um, yeah it was a good road it was probably one of the best dirt roads we've done in a long time I think a lot of it's been graded recently because the of all the rain and stuff they've had through here there's lots of water around but nothing on the road so yeah it was a good track it's a nice little just through I don't know countryside <laughs> lots of emus and their babies and yeah good day yeah lovely sunset over there in the distance and we'll catch you tomorrow for tomorrow we're heading out to Inaminka and then on to Cordillo Downs Road.